Hey guys, Kongai here, and today I'm going to be previewing tomorrow's update, and this is what I need to start doing, because eventually I'm hoping that I'm going to preview an update and be like, yes, this is what I want to play, and I'll go check it out. Um, spoilers, today's not that day. Um, so let's take a look here. Hello everyone, There, here is the latest community update stream recap on what console Twitch. More information will be available during the Insider stream on Monday. So, um, that would be of course today. Uh, so Tuesday, two new maps, Vineyards and Highway. Uh, those aren't new maps. Vineyards isn't really a new map. Uh, it's the community map, and Highway, of course, is just a redone map. So, okay. Um, they're adding two maps into the queue, which is, well, uh, if it takes you or two months, over two months, to introduce two new maps into the game that is now stale because there aren't enough maps, you're doing something wrong. Uh, they need to just reintroduce all the maps and slowly update them to HD while not removing the ones that aren't <laughs> HD. Uh oh, crying baby in the background. Uh, the consumable price will remain at the current discount in price, so they're not going to get rid of that because people are still losing an insane amount of money. New matchmaking test should even spread more with half the number of back to back. Should even spread more with half the back. Well, I don't know what that means. I, I, well, I think what that means is you won't get maps back to back, I think is what they're saying. Added maps to more tiers for greater variety, and why, by that they mean mines and port will probably be tier 10. Removed assault mode from three maps as part of the test. Move spawns on seven maps to address balance issues. Okay. Purple green color blind mode option. Cool. Balance changes to five tanks, and this is what I'm most excited about, <clears throat> though I'm not going to be jumping in and playing or trying any of this, but we'll take a look. M41 Bulldog, that's the tech tree. I wonder if they're giving it back to autoloader. Wouldn't that be awesome? The M41B Brazilian Bulldog, I bet you they're going to give that an AP round. I could be wrong. The Holland Hound, um, aka the M4190, or the Black Dog, that's probably getting some kind of engine buff, is what I would imagine. The T62A is getting some kind of change and i think that's the lesser of the mediums the russian medium so i would say that's probably either getting an armor buff or maybe an engine power buff and then the t95e6 is probably getting i don't know it's really really good is it too good but at the same time people play it terribly it's one of the easiest tanks at tier 10 to 3 mark right now so will they nerf it just because of all the bad players who have it or will they buff it because of all the bad players who have it should i say so so the, yeah, the rest of this information is kind of useless, nobody cares about, just little bug fixes that some of them are like, what? Um, oh, actually they added a new skill where you flip your tank over, <laughs> if you flip your tank a lot, um, which I don't, and I don't think people do that often, it now flips you in 5 seconds instead of 10 seconds, so if you want to waste your time with that skill, go for it, because you only have 9 to choose from. Now, listen, if they reintroduce swimming lessons... Maybe I'll reinstall the game. Maybe, but they have to reintroduce that. <laughs> they do. Uh, so, so what are we doing right now? We're playing in the T62A. This is from three or three and a half years ago, something like that. Um, I figured I'd share this with you guys, just because the T62A seems to be getting changed. Perhaps buffed, perhaps not. Let's get into its stats. I should have had its stats up and going right now, but I do not. We'll get into its stats, and then tomorrow we'll have another video on the T62A where we delve into the new stats. Uh, this is how we're going to have to review tanks now, <laughs> because <clears throat> I don't play the game. <laughs> this is how we're going to have to do it, boys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, and we'll get things going. Um, okay, we're on console.worldtanks.com, and we click on tanks. That's where we go. Dang, their website is slow. All right, here we go. T62A, 9.09 rounds a minute, 320 alpha damage, 264 penetration, reload time 6.6 .6 seconds, <clears throat> aim time 2 seconds. Accuracy, 0.34. Depression, 5 degrees. Elevation, 17. <clears throat> if they're going to change anything, I would imagine it's either going to be the reload time, the aim time, the accuracy, or the gun depression. Um, on the gun, that is. That's, that's, that's what I would predict. Moving on to the turret. 240 frontal turret armor. 48 traverse speed, which is insane, and 400 meters view range. I don't think any of that's going to change. Engine power, 580. I bet you that gets changed. I bet you maybe 6... 20 or 640 that might get buffed to and its power weight is 15.68 I, I think that might be what they do if they're going to change this tank i think they're going to buff its it's a speed uh, maybe maybe we'll see uh then uh, let's go to the tracks traverse speed 56 that's insane terrain resistance 0 0.5 0 0.6 1.4 1 that's also insane uh, those are all really good fantastic statistics um any armor um uh, the hit points is 1915. The armor is 100 millimeters on the front. I believe 80 on the side, but it doesn't seem to show on their website. I don't know why. Why is that? Why don't you show us the, the armor on the website, sir? I do not know. But that is the tank today. What is it going to be tomorrow? 
I don't know. But where are we right now? Well, we're on Prokhorovka, playing by ourselves, and this was back when I was trying to three-mark things, and I guess party chat wasn't working. I don't know. I keep going into that menu. And we're just sitting here, because why not? There we go. There's the There are the people we've been waiting for, and we fired. Oh, he's dead. He died. That's some assist damage. Okay, WZ man. And we, uh, we bounce off there. Oh, we get hit by the Jagdpanzer. He kills our driver, but we do not have a med kit. That's something I do in the Russian... When I was three marking the Russian mediums, I, I forewent the med kit. Um, and I, I found it to be, to work really well, not, not using the med kit. I did. Because, well, the only crew member that is most likely going to die by a, an AP or APCR heat shell in your tank would be the driver. Because he's the only one not in the turret. The turrets on these things are amazing, especially the T62A. So you're likely not going to lose a crew member other than your driver. And once you had pain tolerance and you had jack of all trades, which I did on these things, losing the driver wasn't the biggest of deals. So I went with food and fire extinguisher because these things like the, to light up brighter than, well, I was going to use some kind of metaphor, but none of them came to mind. Um, a whole lot brighter than my brain, apparently. So and there you go. it's going to light up a whole lot brighter than clone guy's brain. So anyway, there's, this thing's rate of fire just coming in here and just absolutely ripping these people apart. Uh, I'll be interested to see... If they give this thing the same rate of fire as, let's say, the 430, that would be really cool because <clears throat> then you'll have two options for that rate of fire. You'll have the T62A, which has the better turret than the 430, but is slower and has less armor, but it also has better gun handling. Or you'll have the 430, which has it's just faster, its gun is less reliable, but it has more armor. So it'd be really, really interesting if they decide to do that. Why am I in my menus again? Get out of your menus, clone gun. This isn't very professional. I don't do this so much anymore. Or before, at the end of my career, I kind of stopped doing that. I'm like, if I'm recording, I'm not going to go into my menu while I'm in-game. It's just not going to happen. Um, but back then, I did. All the time. Just all the time. For, for reasons unknown to me. We're up to 16 penetrations, though. Um, actually, reasons that are known to me. I'm like, where are my friends? Come here, friends. Come play with me. You know, that kind of a thing. Let's see. Vengeance. Hello, Vengeance. A lot of noise in the background today. I apologize. This is just how it's going to how it's going to work. But now that we're done talking kind of about the T62A, let's... Uh, and I love this tank, by the way. Like, if this thing gets buffed, that's reason to play the game again, but not quite reason to play the game again. You know, like, that's a reason to play the game again, but that doesn't mean I'm going to play the game again. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to fix that and pull back here. Uh, but uh, big stuff going on in the background with my book now. Um, getting ready to get a marketing program going and it's a pretty nice marketing program it's gonna be a pretty fun one it requires uh some flying here and there uh lots of radio interviews and uh signings at stores across the country which is kind of really really cool so i'm excited about that i uh, will be doing that very 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 soon the book they said the cover should be done within uh, a week or two and then after that they just need to finalize so the book should be out in a month max should but you know what? We said that a couple months ago, and then we uh, we canceled it because we didn't like the cover. Uh, it should have been out two weeks ago, three weeks ago almost now. But yeah, like I said, we decided to redo the cover. But that means they are ready to go once the cover is done, and then we're just going to jump straight into uh, releasing it for you guys. So that's really cool. And then, of course, my best friend is getting married, so I'm going to be meeting him out in Idaho sometime soon so I can meet his uh, bride because I like you're taking my best friend. I got to know who you are. So I got to meet her. Uh, so that's cool. I also got to plan the bachelor party. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be amazing. We're going to go airsofting. Don't tell anyone. Shh, don't tell anyone. But there's going to be like four of us, so. It's going to go airsofting and, I don't know, play like Clue at a hotel or something. <laughs> that's the plan anyway. He, a, 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 AK, he, that's who he is. Elijah, he wants to maybe do some World of Tanks. So maybe I'll jump back into the game just for his wedding because he does like World of Tanks. It is his all-time favorite game, so maybe we'll do some of that. I don't know. Um... But <clears throat> only time will tell. It is up to me. I'm the best man, so I get to make these decisions. And, you know, but uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. And, of course, I'll keep you guys updated on uh, the book as best I can. Well, of course, it'll be easy. 8,400 damage, 3,700 assist damage, three kills. This was back when ace tankers were broken. You could not ace anything in the game. <laughs> it was just that way. Even first classes were, like, non-existent. But regardless, there it is. T628 ace tanker. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, slap that like button. Comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out Space Bandit, link in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And uh, check out tomorrow's video where we actually look at the new stats. Peace out.